After a secretive agency in New York is invaded by an outerworldly threat, you become the new director struggling to regain control. This supernatural third-person action-adventure game will challenge you to, the, to master a combination of supernatural abilities. Modifiable loadouts and reactive environments while fighting through a deep and unpredictable world. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and today I'm doing a review of a game called Control. So this game was made by Remedy, the developers who made Alan Wake and Quantum Break. So uh, this game was actually the game of the year uh, for for the PlayStation and uh, for I think 2019 and honestly I can see why I had expectations even before the game actually came out and I was you know waiting for the full complete edition and um, you know to get all the DLCs and extra content so I can experience this game to its fullest so campaign of this game isn't really long but it did took me a few days to finish I was just uh, trying to, you know, play the main storyline. So basically, I haven't done any much of side missions. I did few, but the main story take took uh, I don't know around 10 to 15 hours to complete. And um, if you want to complete everything, the game has to offer with its DLCs. There is at least 30 hours packed in into this game, which for a linear story uh, driven game, this is. I think more than enough. So you take a role as Jesse and the game starts uh, with you entering the building in search of your beloved brother who you haven't seen for the last 17 years. The building is like a secret service like CIA or FBI thing and um, this one is kind of hidden from the real world and nobody knows that it even exists. The story uh, it's very intriguing and well played. It's also sometimes kind of hard to understand if you are trying to like keep it up with it. However, besides the story, the game looks fantastic and it at some moments it looks even stunning. The texture of the characters are outstanding and especially the janitor, he really looks like next gen character model. The animation is also done very well and it looks awesome as you performance your, uh, with your amazing s new skills. The whole game is kind of based in one same building and that might even sound boring for to somebody but uh, I in truth it isn't. The game has multiple levels underground and as you clear so-called hiss uh, which has infected the, the, the whole building the building uh, then becomes more normal except some special rooms like this maze right here and I think that's like the best moments in the game so take a look
Henry. I've left you clear instructions. So, uh, besides its graphics, the game um, sounds pretty good and the voice acting is also very well done. There's a couple of moments, uh, like entering the elevator when her eyes don't really look right, you know, but that's kind of a minor thing, like very, very few glitches and bugs. Gameplay wise, uh, the game is third person and. Um, you know, as you proceed through the story, you you know gain points, and with those points you can get abilities like levitation or ability to uh, construct a shield or force push, uh, and most important one uh, is the unique pistol that you get at the at the at the very beginning. So that pistol kind of never runs out of bullets and also reloads itself if you stop shooting. It looks also very unique and it also has different modes that you can craft like a normal pistol shooting and also like a shotgun and it can work differently. Uh, so basically as you progress you also gain points that you can use to upgrade your health, stamina, melee attack, levitation duration, uh, power of your shield, effectiveness and later on my favorite to be able to throw the body of your enemy towards your enemy and as enemies go there uh, you know there are kind of few classes there are normal guys with guns guys that shoot launchers throw grenades and some heavy classes but there are also enemies that are affected by this hiss and um, once they are dealt with they just vanish in thin air there are also some different enemies like uh, a guy that can fly and also throw stuff at you a guy that can dodge your attacks and throw axes at you a ball that regenerates health of the enemy and also a kind of a suicidal enemy that flies and explodes when it comes close to you the game doesn't have any difficulty setting and it at some moments it can be really hard there are also checkpoints that work uh, as a sort of uh, upgrade stations and uh, also fast travel and to be honest in my opinion I really don't like fast travel uh, overall in, in, in gaming but uh, in this game you really need it because this building is really huge and just to go through everything and to go back it will really take forever. However, in open world games like Assassin's Creed or Witcher or Red Dead Redemption 2, I really don't recommend anyone taking a fast travel because um, unless you, I mean, unless you don't have much time to play, you know, if you want to just finish it. But, you know, what's the point of, you know, using fast travel? You know, what's the point of the developer making that world for you to experience? If not to experience it, then, you know that's in my way of thinking like why would you use fast travel uh, you have to realize that open worlds are made to feel you make you feel immersed and uh, using fast travel I don't think that would help any anyone you know uh, unless as I said already you want to finish the game as quick as possible but talking about control <laughs> this game is fast and it's really satisfying to play and I couldn't really stop playing it and for me it's one of the better games that came out in last couple of years and I finished it completely and I really do recommend it to everybody to play it and um, that will be all for me I hope you have enjoyed this video uh, leave a like share subscribe let me know in the comments if you have anything um, any suggestions or if you want to you know uh, if you want mm, if you have some games that you would like me to review or uh, what did you think of about this game but uh, overall I think as I said already my experience with this game is great and even though if I say that it's great uh, doesn't mean that it's perfect it's uh, I mean as every game it has its bugs it has it it has its glitches but uh, not as many as in some games but this game is perfectly balanced with its combat and I think uh, that for anybody even people who are not into this sci-fi kind of a theme I think it's really satisfying to play it and experience its story so 
that will be all from me guys i hope you have enjoyed this video and um, i'll see you in the next one until then